Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting integral world from 2024 MIT Integration B, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral world from negative infinity to infinity dx over x to the power of four plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus one. For this integral, world, the tool is for this cost principle value that I listed up some formulas to use. So for example, integral from zero to infinity, x to the power of a over one minus x dx is pi times cotangent pi times a. And this cost principle value of integral from zero to infinity, x to the power of k minus one over one minus x to the power of n dx is pi over n times cotangent pi k over n. And integral from zero to infinity, x to the power of k minus 1 over 1 plus x to the power of n dx is pi over n times cosequent pi k over n. Okay, so first of all, let's focus on this denominator part. x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. So we can notice how x to the power of 5 minus 1. If you factor that out, then we should have this denominator part as a factor because it is now x minus 1 times x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. Okay, so that's why this integral that we are looking for, which is integral from negative infinity to infinity, 1 over x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 dx. Okay, so we can just multiply x minus 1 to your numerator and denominator of this integrand. So multiplying x minus 1 to the numerator and denominator. Put this dx after. And then it has to be the same as integral from negative infinity to infinity. Then we should have x minus 1 over x to the power of 5 minus 1 and dx, the same integral that we should be working on. Okay, so that is why now, if you multiply negative one to both numerator and denominator, we can switch this with an alternating sign. So that is why your integral has to be integral from negative infinity to infinity. And we have one minus x over one minus x to the power of five dx, because we wanted to use those tools about cauchy principle value. Okay, so that is why now this has to be the same as, we can split this into the two integrals. One of them has to be the integral from negative infinity to zero. The other one has to be an integral from zero to infinity. So that's why let's split this. One of them, like I said, is from negative infinity to zero of one minus x over one minus x to the power of five dx. Plus the other integral has to be from zero to infinity with the same integral. Second integral, this is fine because we have from zero to infinity. But then again, in order for us to use those tools, the first integral, we should be switching this lower bound than the upper bound, right? So for this integral, we can make a little conversion. So if you say x to negative x, then your integrand has to be from one minus x over one minus x to the power of five. This will become one plus x over 1 plus x to the power of 5. Then the integral lower bound than the upper bound. Integral from negative infinity to 0. This would be now from 0 to infinity as we want it. So that's why this integral, which is, I'll be writing this down again, from negative infinity to 0. 1 minus x over 1 minus x to the power of 5 dx. This is going to be the same as now integral from zero to infinity. Then we have one, my, one plus x over one plus x to the power of five and dx. So that's why the integral that we are looking for, which is integral from negative infinity to infinity. One minus x over one minus x to the power of five dx. This is really the same as integral from 0 to infinity, 1 minus x over 1 minus x to the power of 5 dx. Now plus 
integral still, also from 0 to infinity, we have then 1 plus x over 1 plus x to the power of 5 dx. Okay, so this is where we got up to. We split this integral into two integrals. I'll be calling the first one as just number 1, second one as number 2. For the first one, the first one has to be the same as this cost principal value of integral from 0 to infinity, and we have 1 over 1 minus x to the power of 5 dx minus cosh principal value of integral from 0 to infinity of now x over 1 minus x to the power of 5, and we have dx. Okay, the second one. The second one has to be the same as just the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x to the power of 5 dx, just splitting, plus integral from 0 to infinity x over 1 plus x to the power of 5 dx. Okay, so the setup is all done to use these tools to evaluate this integral. Okay, so first of all, your first integral. Okay, this has to be the same as pi over 5 times cotangent of pi over 5. Okay, and then that minus pi over 5 times cotangent of now 2 pi over 5. Number 2 is about cosequent. It is going to be the same as then pi over 5 times cosequent of pi over 5. And then plus pi over 5 times cosequent of 2 pi over 5. So that's why combining these all together by pulling this pi over 5 out. So the answer for this question is pi over 5 parenthesis, now cotangent of pi over 5 minus cotangent of 2 pi over 5 plus cosequent of pi over 5. Now plus cosequent of 2 pi over 5. So this is the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral from 2024 MIT integration B. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.